So what is going on everybody welcome to your 32nd Android development tutorial my name is Mehul and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you what wallies are so yes I know we have been continuing with our app development but for the news feed I would need to make use of something known as wallies to transfer data from server to our Android application for instance right now we'll just host our files on localhost but typically you would like to host your news API on a real website right so for that you need to have some networking sort of API sort of library associated with it so that you can easily parse objects whichever you receive them whenever you receive them or you know if you are really interested in even customizing how the news when the news is loaded and uh, you know all that op optimization stuff so you can do that pretty much all of that stuff with this Wally networking library and it's super easy and super cool to use and uh, will be up in just a few moments so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna pretty much show you how this library is working for a simple just a simple thing right so I'm gonna show you that I just get this down a little bit okay so list view um, let's say this is just 400 dps I just need some space for a button right so there's a button and I'm just gonna say that this is load a page right so in the text I copy this ID and go to my main activity Java right and I just say for now that uh, button my button or let's just make use of the same is button find view by id uh, dot id dot button and just import that and say button dot uh, set on click listener new on click listener and then what I want to do is I want to make use of a wally right a wally would allow me to perform a simple get request or a simple post request or you know a JSON request as well if I want to but for now I'm just gonna perform a very simple get request to get the source code of a website and uh, before actually setting up that you need to include a dependency because wall is not included as a package right now so just go to your build gradle file and uh, uh, what is this well I guess I could just change this to 24 now because I have installed 24 SDK so I'm gonna add a depend oh no commas there compile com dot android dot wally I guess it was wally and it was 1.0 only okay so just synchronize your project and uh, okay so looks cool now let's just hop over to our main activity and uh, what I'm gonna say actually is that uh, I'm gonna create a request queue now what this request queue would do is as it would act like a kind of a queue in which your wally would be placed whenever system resources are free or you know your request is feasible to do so just go ahead and write request queue and it will just automatically take care of all the imports queue equals wally dot new request queue right there and you have to pass in this but since we are in a click event so we need to pass in main activity dot this because the click events this right now does not refer to our activity this right so the next thing is that you need to have a request so you need to say this is a string request and then I'm gonna say this is my request 
equals new string request and the string request is pretty much what would be the expected data type of the return of the request right so i want to say that this has a request dot method dot get right so we have a request method of get that means we are performing a get request you could have a post request as well then i want to pass in the url so let's just say this is google.com only for now uh, let's just split that on few lines so that it's easier to see and the next thing i want is a new response let's see if we can get it yep looks like that only but uh, a bunch of errors hopping over so let's see what they are okay so let me just write the code first so this is an override function and what I want to do is I want to just pretty much display it in the log log dot I my tag and then I'm gonna say that this is just uh, response is response right so it would just log into response what the heck string request and cannot be applied to URL oh okay so yeah we need a error listener as well so new response dot error listener right and then what it's gonna do is uh, it's another anonymous class so I guess it should have automatically completed that but let's see if I can find generate override and this is on error response right there so you can see now I would just say the same thing here as well so error would be the error thrown in by here and uh, the final thing you need to do is you need to add this to your queue right so you have right now just this string request in my request so you would like to say that queue dot dot add uh, just say my request okay so that's how you pretty much build a basic very basic volley request and uh, yeah so let's just see if it works or not And, uh, looks like we have some sort of okay so I don't have a JDK 1.8 right now so let's just fall back to 23 and yes 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 I got I guess I remember to add forgot to add actually permissions as well you need permissions to internet obviously so what the heck intranet right so you need to make sure you add this into your Android manifest otherwise your program would not work because you need to specify what sort of permissions your Android require and this is the same permission which is displayed when you're installing your application from Play Store like this app has access to your phone contacts and uh, full activity access and all that stuff so you add all that stuff here so you cannot just bypass that Otherwise, Android would not even grant you access to internet at all. So, yeah, so yes, what I want to do is change this to 23 only. So, maybe we we'll change this to 24 when my Java JDK is updated to 1.8. So, for now, let's just keep it to 23.03. Uh, let's see if you are good to go or actually I haven't synchronized it or would it do it for me yes I guess it has done so let's see how this looks like on console as well because the actual stuff is done by the logger logger will okay so let it build <clears throat> and 
here we are so let's just go to edit filter and right here in your tag what we have oh what we have as a tag is my tag so in edit filter just go to my tag because right now the log cat logs almost everything what's happening on your phone or your emulator so now it's just logging my tag right yep so now okay so it looks a uh, bit messy anyways just click on load a page and uh, see what we have got so you can see that in the response I've got the HTML source code of Google and uh, it kind of looks messy but uh, it's okay for now so you see that this thing works at least and uh, then using this thing only instead of the string request we'll make use of JSON object request and then we can pretty much make our code work with our newsreader API which we are getting from a PHP file which I showed you earlier so yeah so we'll be implementing that real soon and uh, that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one